Ahead of the front, we've got 30s and lower 40s showing up. In fact, look at Denver and then Billings, Montana. 52 in Billings, 47 in Denver. Again, this is all south of the front. Now, as we pan to the north of the front, pretty significant difference. Again, 52 in Billings, Montana, 5 degrees. Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. So you can see the difference in temperature there behind that front. This is the cold air that we've been tracking and telling you about over the last several days. And this is what we're going to be watching for to move in Monday night and then hanging around uh, all week for the upcoming week. So what you can expect, we're talking about highs in the 30s, some 40s, but I think for the most part, we're going to see highs in the 30s for much of the week ahead. Low temperatures, 20s, even some teens, certainly not out of the question. And then as that front moves through Monday night into early Tuesday, could bring us a very light mix of some snow and rain. And uh, as far as travel impacts go, minimal. So not a huge concern there. But anytime you get your first wintry weather of the year, just something we got to keep a close eye on. Temperatures today, get out and enjoy this if you can. Middle 60s for many areas, about 64 in Kansas City, 66 in Lawrence, 64 for St. Joe. Those high clouds around. Tomorrow, just a touch warmer with that south wind picking up to 10 to 20 miles an hour. Clouds are going to be building later in the day as that front approaches. The front's going to slide through tomorrow night. And then for Tuesday, your Veterans Day, it is going to be chilly. Upper 30s for most of us, breezy northwest winds. In fact, more like 15 to 20 miles an hour. And that's going to keep those wind chills down in the lower 30s and 20s throughout much of the day. Let me show you future scan. This is going to be for Monday when that front comes in. You're looking at uh, the evening hours here, Monday, heading towards uh, midnight. And as that front starts to slide through, you see a little bit of pink and some white showing up on the map there. That's that chance of seeing some flurries or possibly some freezing drizzle. This is about 3.30 Tuesday morning. And then that will slide off to the east. And then we're just stuck in the cold for Tuesday and the rest of the week. Seven-day forecast. If you don't like the cold, well, just close your eyes and just listen to what I'm telling you here. 64 today, 65 tomorrow, 39 your high on Veterans Day, and then we're cold Wednesday and Thursday with highs in the middle 30s, lows in the lower 20s, and then as we get into late weekend to next weekend, we have the potential of seeing some light snow with high temperatures only in the middle to upper 30s.